Hello, Jason here. Today I'm going to show you how to keyframe the wiggle expression. So I've got my circle, I'm going to press P and let's just add a wiggle to its position. Let's just play this. Let's say we only want it to wiggle between one second and three seconds. We can't do that with keyframes on the expression or the position itself. So what we will need to do is go to our effects and presets and add a slider. So let's drag our slider onto our circle or whatever you're adding your wiggle expression to. And I'm just going to duplicate this so we have two. I'm going to call the first one X and the second one Y. You can call these whatever you like. And then down here on our layer, I'm just going to open up those two sliders in our effects so we can see them down here. And then back in our expression, before we go, I'm just going to go new line and then go to the line above, X equals, and then I'm going to pick whip to our X slider. Semicolon on the end, new line, Y equals, and then pick whip to our second slider called Y. Semicolon on the end. And then rather than 10 and 50, or whatever your wiggle numbers are, let's type in X comma Y and click off. And if we play that, you'll see that nothing is happening. And that's because we need to add those two values to our two sliders, which was 10 and 50 for me. So if we play this through, you will see that it has the same wiggle expression as it did before, but we now have the ability to keyframe our two sliders. So what we want to do is actually keyframe our second slider called Y. So the X or our first number in the expression is the amount of times per second it wiggles and the second number is the amount it wiggles. And what we want to do is keyframe that second number, the amount it wiggles. So let's go to one second, move forward slightly and create a keyframe on our Y slider. Move back to one second and let's just change that value to zero to create a new keyframe. Let's just watch that through. And there we go. So it starts off, no wiggle, and then between these two keyframes, it goes up to our keyframe 50. If we wanted it to suddenly just go from zero to 50, we can just move that keyframe across. And there we go. Or we can have it gradually happen over a second or so as I had previously. There we go, let's just drag that back in. And then at the end, we do exactly the same, but backwards. So keyframe, move forwards to three seconds, and then change this property back to zero. Let's play this through. And there we go. That is how we can keyframe our wiggle expression. Mm -hmm.